Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Alfred Danzo. And I'm Kimberly Dona. The University of Finlay hosted a mobile food pantry on January 26 for the community just after a new report from the U.S. Government Office of Accountability shows that some colleges are trying to respond to students who may be going hungry. The report released last week found that almost 2 million at-risk students who would have been eligible for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program did not apply for the program in 2016. As of September 2018, more than 650 colleges operate food pantries for students. The University of Finley does not have its own pantry, but Director of Service and Community Engagement at UF, Crystal Witz, says it has offered help for students by putting together a community resource guide. Six seniors are displaying their favorite works for the students and public alike in the Dudley and Mary Marks Leah Garlet Gallery. From designs to paintings, the students show off both their artistic skills and they can be applied in the job market. There is a reception for the students uh, Sunday, February 17th from 1 to 3 p.m. The show starts on February 11th and is open until the 22nd. The gallery is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. For more information or, or for on the show or the artist, visit newsroom.finley.edu. In the age of online shopping and one-click purchasing, people are finding a faster, more efficient way to pay for their needs and wants. Apps like Venmo and Apple Pay can be used for anything from bills to vending machines, but is there a downside to this? Leah Palm has more on the story. The past few years, mobile wallets and tap-to-go payments have become increasingly more popular. Establishments such as grocery stores, restaurants, and even vending machines have begun accepting applications such as Venmo and Apple Pay to receive their payments. The only one I use is Venmo. I use Venmo and Apple Pay. I use it for bills, like splitting gifts. Yeah, I use Venmo for like splitting like food, bills, meals, gifts, and um, I use Apple Pay it stores that take it. With the wide variety of services that these payment plans can be used for, Consumer Reports listed that 97 million people used them in 2018. On the weekends, me and a couple other girls stay in a hotel, so we like split the cost and I Venmo her the money. While these applications may be convenient to use, consumers have concerns. I don't know how easy it is for my information to get stolen. I think I'd be a little nervous just because yeah. like if your phone died or you dropped it and it broke, um, you, know, you don't have a backup then if it's all mobile based. People who don't have smartphones or you know don't have access to smartphones or Wi-Fi um, or can't pay for like a cellular plan, you know what would they do if they couldn't get cash? With the future moving towards a mobile payment based economy, is the convenience worth the concern? For UFTV, I'm Leah Palm. The trend of internet challenges has become increasingly more dangerous, but the latest challenge is based on the Netflix movie Bird Box starring Sandra Bullock. Recently, a teenager in Utah ended up in a car accident after she tried to drive with her eyes covered as part of the challenge. According to Dr. Kit Majeski, who teaches media effects at UF, these trends say something about American culture. We've seen a rise in what is known as participatory culture, and we are now pro prosumers. We don't just consume, but we produce and consume both the media created for us and the media we create ourselves. Netflix has put out a statement asking people to not participate in the challenge. Coming up, the nation's most popular donut chain returns to Finley. Choose Union Bank because life is busy, and Union Bank understands that. So when I can't make it to the branch, I can still bank on my time. They offer a mobile app so I can pay bills on my cell phone. Mobile deposit, so I can deposit a check with the click of a phone or tablet. And ATMs, where I need them. Union Bank knows what I need. Go to the ubank.com to find out how they can help you too. Your community bank. Union Bank. Member FDIC. Wasbro Rental Property is a family owned and operated residential rental company serving Findlay, Ohio. For over 50 years, Wasbro Rental Property has helped residents find the right apartment to fit their needs. Go to the Sherman House and Wasbro Rental Property LLC on Facebook for more rental information or call 419-423-8321. Wasbro is proud to support the University of Finley Media Network. Dunkin' Donuts made its comeback to the Finley area Monday, February 11th. The city of Finley has been home to two different Dunkin' Donuts locations over the past few years, but closed for various reasons. 
The brand new location is on Trent Avenue near Interstate 75. The store will include self-order kiosks, mobile ordering via the Dunkin' application, and a convenient drive through The development lead, Paul Rubenstein, told WFIN that there are only the sixth store in the company to have the mobile drive through Their opening has caused quite a buzz, but they will soon have some competition. The coffee chain Big B bought the old spaghetti shop just a few businesses down the street where it plans to open its second location in Finley. How do you like your pizza? How about from a vending machine? Ohio colleges such as Ohio State University, Xavier, and Case Western now have pizza ATMs. Pizzas are pre-made in the neighboring kitchen and come with cheese or pepperoni toppings. Then they are stored in a refrigerator unit inside the pizza ATM. When a pizza is ordered, it moves to the ATM's internal oven to bake. It typically takes about three to four minutes and a 10-inch pizza costs $8. The pizza machine can carry about 70 pizzas at a time. Oilish Athletics continue to shine in the spotlights the past couple of weeks with four teams currently in the top 25 national rankings. The teams include the 8th ranked men's basketball team and the 17th uh, women's swimming and diving team, the 6th ranked men's track and field, and finally the 8th ranked women's golf team. These teams have excelled all year and continue to represent the university in a positive way. The U of men's basketball team is now ranked 8th nationally according to the National Association of Basketball Coaches rankings. The Oilers took revenge against the Hillsdale Chargers during their second game this season, Saturday, February 9th, 75-70. Five different Oilers reached double figures during the matchup and senior forward Alex Way got his 10th double-double of the season. The women's basketball team was not so lucky. Anna Hintz scored 22 points and Ali Thobe 16, but the Oilers still fell to the Chargers, 88-67. The Oilers also played a Valentine's Day matchup at Lake Erie on Thursday, hoping to keep their number eight spot. The Oilers will keep preparing over the weekend for their matchup on Monday at 7 p.m. against Wilberforce. It is the first home game in two weeks. Be sure to check online at athletics.finley.edu where you can watch the games and keep up on live stats. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alfred Denzo. And I'm Kimberly Dono. We'll see you again next time for FMN on UF TV.